Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how you can create a simple captcha solver using python without using machine learning or any type of complex AI ML stuff. It will be much accurate than anything you have ever seen and it's going to be really simple to create. So stay till the end of the video and let's get started. First of all, let me show you the article I have already wrote which explains this whole thing in very detailed manner. You should check it out, you will find its link in the description down below. You will also find the whole source code with proper comments in here. So now let's get back to the project. Now let me show you which type of captchas we are going to solve in this video. You can use the technique showed in the video for any image based captchas like this in which the text is not too much distorted. It will work absolutely flawless for most of the image captchas out there. Now let's get back to the coding part. First of all you have to create a new folder somewhere. I am going to create it over here. Name it captcha solver, captcha solver and I am just going to open VS code in this folder. You can use VS code, you can use sublime text, you can use any code editor you want to just uh, don't use notepad and let's create a new file over here app.py i'm sure you have already python installed in your computer if you don't have just install it by searching on google and after installing python you just have to open terminal over here click on new terminal and just write pip install selenium it will install selenium for you and after selenium is installed successfully you just have to close this particular terminal window and start coding First of all, we are going to port Selenium from Selenium import web driver. Then we are going to initialize our web driver in a particular variable webdriver.chrome. Then we are going to get a particular URL. We are going to get Google Lens URL. Let me show you in this uh, over here. If we go over here and just click over here, you can see uh, this pop up window op opens up. If you just go to lens.google.com, it redirects us to this particular URL. We are going to use this particular URL actually. It will redirect directly us to this open window over here. And I'm just going to copy this whole URL. I click copy and go into VS Code. Just paste it over here. And then what we are going to do? We are going to actually start scrapping. So let me show you how I'm going to do that. First of all, I'm going to scrap this particular uh, window. I mean, this particular input box. Just going to right click inspect and as you can see its placeholder is visible over here the rest of the attributes can change dynamically uh, you can actually see that the rest of the variables actually are changeable because they are really random randomized names like cb9m7 ws7 uh, it indicates the variables actually change so we are not going to use those variables we are going to use placeholder because it doesn't change actually so we are just going to edit html and uh, copy it and then we are going to this particular window over here and then we are going to import first of all selenium.common.selenium.webdriver.common.py import by it will help us to actually fetch elements from the page so and we are also going to use chrome browser in this video so if you don't have chrome installed in your computer just install it or you can use Firefox if you want to and this process will be a, a little different actually. You can just use webdriver.firefox and it will work for you. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use Chrome for this and webdriver.chrome will do for me. And then I'm going to write driver.findElement by xpath and just I'm going to use slash slash input at the rate placeholder. It will find the element, I mean input element capture well we are going to just store it in a variable capture url and we are going to give it a url like this one you can use any type of captcha you want to i'm just going to use this captcha for demonstration purposes i'm just going to paste it over here and uh, write send keys captcha url and it's done and then after going doing that i'm just going to go into the browser again and press enter key because after pasting the link i'm just going to press enter key and it will actually move to that next page so i'm just going to import another selenium package selenium.webdriver.common.keys import in keys import keys and i'm just going to i'm not going to find the element again and again i'm just going to store this particular element over in the variable uh, captcha imp equal to this particular element and i'm just going to send 
the URL first and then I'm going to send the enter key send keys keys dot enter perfect after doing that I'm just going to go to the next page so let me show you what will happen if I just go th do this and click on search I'm directed to ne the next page and then I have to click the text button over here and for the text button to actually work we have to waste a few seconds like three seconds actually because after loading this particular image it sorts of takes some time to actually recognize what is in the text so for this to happen properly we have to wait for a few seconds I'm just going to include a delay I'm going to input time module and include a simple delay time dot sleep three seconds and after doing that we are just going to click right click over here and inspect and we are going to find this particular element over here its id is text so we can just get it this particular element by id i'm just going to go into vs code and write driver dot find element by id text dot click it will just click this particular tab for me and after doing this uh, as you can see it takes a little bit of time like two seconds maybe to actually for this to appear so i'm just going to right click over here and click on inspect and as you can see this has select all text and if we go over here we can't actually find a simple attribute which doesn't change the all the attributes in this particular button are changeable like uh, it is dynamic so we can't actually use the attributes in this particular section we are going to use text actually we are going to use text to find this particular element and click on it so i'm just going to go into vs code and write first of all we have to implement simple delay to actually wait for the select all text to appear time dot sleep two seconds after implementing the delay just going to we are going to use travel dot find element by x path and we are just going to use span contains text and we are going to paste the actual text over here select all text this was it right yes it, this was it select all text and it's done uh, this is a simple JavaScript query which will find an element which is a span tag and it is it contains select all text. So after doing this, I'm just going to click on this particular element and after clicking it, let me see what's happen what happens. Uh, it takes a bit little bit of time, like two seconds maybe, and then it prints out the actual result. So I'm going to scrap the actual result over here. I'm going to right click inspect. As you can see, this particular div. The class doesn't change actually the class is a, a static class so we can just use the particular class over here we can copy the class over here we have to actually include a delay again time dot sleep three seconds maybe two seconds driver dot find element by x path and it is a div right let me see it is a div a slash slash div and at the rate class uh, yes perfect uh, it actually will find the div and then uh, we are going to find the element a tag name the h1 element which actually contains the result as you can see the h1 contains the result so we are going to, going to find the element by tag name h1 and then we are going to get its text and store it in a variable result and then we are going to print the result actually over here and that's all i guess it should work flawlessly let me see if it works or not we are just going to open a terminal window and we are going to run this particular thing python app.py and as you can see everything worked perfectly fine let me show it with a sim uh, with a different captcha actually i'm just going to paste it over here we can actually include a simple delay over here too because uh, sometimes it takes some time for this particular pop up to open so we just have to include time dot sleep of 1 second and then we are going to run this program again As you can see it is working fine for this too 
uh, we have got the result over here so that's it for today i hope you like the video if you have any problems regarding the video you can just check out the article the link of this article will be provided in the description down below you can just go into the article and you can read it out so yeah that's it for the video thank you for watching